Hey guys, really big news today for a company I'm super excited about. Standard Cognition is one of the best companies I've had the chance to work with over the past few years. Today, they're opening three new micro convenience stores that are completely cashierless and completely camera driven. This is the first few stores of thousands that are on deck to be deployed. Here's footage directly from their store at the University of Houston that just opened today. And this is a big deal. Even companies like Amazon can't do what Standard Cognition is doing today. Camera only means that it's ready for rollout to the whole world for an order of magnitude cheaper than everyone else. As you can see, the experience is really simple. Download the Standard app, tap to check in, pick up anything you want, and walk out. I got to sit down with the co-founder and CEO, Jordan Fisher, to celebrate this big moment and get his take on what all this means for the future of grocery. Jordan, congrats on today. This is a really big day for Standard Cognition. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're super excited. We've been working really for the last couple of years to deliver the, the future of shopping. And our belief is you should be able to walk into any store in the world, grab what you want, walk out, skip the line and just get your receipt. And to achieve that, you really have to be able to do two things. Number one, you have to be able to take existing stores and transform them. We call that a retrofit. So can we deliver this new amazing experience, autonomous checkout, skipping the line in existing stores? That's step one. And step two is, can you do this at scale? Can you really show this is a repeatable process that you can take many stores and transform them. And we're really demonstrating both of those things today. We've, we're launching three stores where we're retrofitting them. Uh, shoppers can now shop, uh, grab what they want, leave the store and get their receipt automatically in, in all three locations. So we're, we're incredibly excited to, to show that this is a repeatable process that we can take stores and transform them to, to give that amazing new experience. You know, in my mind, the two really remarkable things that you know, you, you were able to put together here. One is actually being able to track people. Two is actually being able to track the item. And then I know I said two, but it feels like there's a third, which is actually being able to integrate with a third party inventory system and, you know, all of the difficulties of dealing with other people's data. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we, we, we thought we knew what most of the challenges were when we were working to get our own store launched, uh, standard store here in SF. And yeah, a lot, of, a lot of amazing computer vision challenges, tracking being one of the biggest ones, how do you anonymously track people through multiple cameras uh, as as they you know go through their entire shopping trip? It's it's really something that's uh, you know a state of the art system that didn't really exist before we, we even started. Uh, so that was that was an incredible challenge and lots of other interesting computer vision challenges um, as well. But what we learned over the last couple of years is even once you've got those basic building blocks in place, integrating with that retail store, their operations, their SKUs, the way that they do stocking the way that their planograms work. Uh, it's it's you know it's it's much more chaotic and much more challenging to to meet the retailer where they are, and you can't actually reach across and say, hey, let's let's maybe change how this works or change how this looks or change how this this shelf is going to be be displayed. You don't have those abilities anymore, uh, and you really just have to say, okay, completely hands off. Let's meet the retailer where they are and and just make this work. Uh, so it was it was really interesting to to cross that that final chasm. So today at University of Houston, what people are going to be able to do is, you know, download the app, install it, walk up to basically a micro kitchen. Yeah, it's a mini convenience store. Um, you know, all the sort of fresh food, sandwiches, CPGs, brands of, you know, snacks and, and drinks, etc. Yeah, they'll just be able to uh, walk up like they, they have before. This is the same store that they know and love, the same products that they know and love. Um, and we're just going to get them into that store and out faster. We've actually seen... Some shopping trips that have been as fast as three, four seconds. You can literally, you can literally run in if you're if you're late to class, um, grab something, tap your phone, and you're out literally a couple of seconds later. So it's just a, a drastically faster way to to get what you want. I like to think of these these stores as as really becoming your personal pantry. Yeah. That's 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 how I think all stores should feel. Grab what you want and get out. You shouldn't have to fumble around with a self-checkout machine or wait in line. It should just be yeah. getting the things you want. And that's the end of it. It's three stores initially and really sort of the first of really uh, thousands in the next few years. From day one, really, we were, we were thinking about scale. And how do you how do you build this in a way that is not just going to be low friction for the shopper? That's obviously incredibly important. That's, that's you know the obvious part of autonomous checkout. But how do we also make this low friction for the retailer so that once we've delivered this, we can deliver it over and over again and make it really easy for them to scale this out into their their massive fleet. So 
Compass, who's uh, you know, the, the, the partner that we're deploying stores with today, they have over 15,000 locations. And just thinking about that incredible scale uh, was something we, we knew we had to do from day one. So, you know, it's, it's the cost of the system. It's the simplicity of the installation. It's the ability to merge with the existing operations of that retailer. Um, you know, Compass has hundreds of thousands of employees that, you know, man these stores, stock these stores. And if you're going to change the way that they, they do that, um, it's it's really going to be a non-starter. So it's it's really just about how do you how do you make this low friction for the retailer as well as the shopper, so that it's going to be easy to to scale out. So really, it's been from day one that we've been thinking about this, and we're, we're just really excited that now that we've we've done a demonstration at multiple locations, we can start focusing on on that actual scaling process. Big day, Jordan. Just getting started, I guess. Thanks for joining yep, me absolutely. today. Absolutely. Thanks so much. Congrats again.